Okay, a 5,200 kilogram cable car is pulled a distance of 360 meter up a hill inclined at 12 degree from the horizontal. The change in the potential energy of the car is okay. Uh, okay, so this question asks for what? Change in change in potential energy. That means what you want to find is a uh, change uh, delta u. Uh, change in potential energy. That means this is this should be the the gravitational. Yeah, this one should be the gravitational potential energy. Uh, because there's no spring here, it's not about elastic potential energies. Should be the gravitational potential energy. So change in gravitational potential energy, uh, the formula is mgh, but this is a change, so mg delta h. Lah. Uh, so we need to find the change of height. Now what is important is the is the change of height. Uh, we need to find this. Okay. So uh, all right. So what? How do how to find the delta delta h? Okay. So how to find the delta h? So first of all, information given. We have the mass. We have the mass. We have a distance of uh, up a hill. So this one is we can say s lah. Yeah, first of all, this is a on a hill, a twelve degree from horizontal. So okay, let's draw out the diagram. So we have a hill. Uh, okay, we we have a uh, you know. This is the ground. Okay, and then a hill. 12 degree from horizontal. What I can say is like this. Ah, like that. Okay. So it will be, yeah, yeah. So, 12 degree. 12 degree, that means uh, this one from horizontal, 12 degree. Okay. So, hill. Uh, so, we just like that. Yeah. A hill. 12 degree, so that means, um, am I put a distance up a hill? A hill should be, uh, okay. Mm. Okay, so I should draw like that. Right. Okay, that's it. So a cable car is pulled. Okay, let's. So there's a car. So there's a car being pulled from uh from here up from from here from the ground. Uh, you know, uh, see again from here. Pull from here. Go up. Yeah. Maybe until here. For distance, huh? this is the S. Lah. This is the S. 3,660 uh, meter. So, uh, so, what's the change in potential energy? So, we need to find... So, we know that at the ground, if on the ground, it is... You uh, can say zero. Yeah, but for, uh, for at this height, so we, we need to put... Oh, sorry. Ah, uh, so this is another h. We need to find this. So the, this is the delta h. Understand? Delta h. Ah, uh, so how to find the delta h? How to find the delta h? Ah, uh, so it is this. Uh, we can say it is this. Uh, this this high. Ah, uh, this is the delta h. Understand? Ah, uh, this is the delta h. So it's a triangle. <laughs> so we need to find the tri right angle triangle. Okay. So how to find this? Okay, how to find this delta h? So just uh, sine theta. Just use sine theta. So we can say uh, sine theta is equal to uh, opposite over uh, hypotenuse. This is actually opposite over hypotenuse, isn't it? And theta. 
is delta h over s uh, so opposite over, over opposite over hypotenuse that's good so uh, just uh, okay continue sine 12 degree uh, sine 12 degree that's a delta h we need we want to find so this is 360 meter so what's our delta h so our delta h is uh oh sorry i need to change to degree yeah forget to change to degree uh so you must be careful huh? always change degree yeah this is a uh, sine 12 degree so uh 360 times sine uh 12 degree so i got the answer is delta h is 74 point 74.8482 meter. Ah, so that's our height. Okay. Ah, so that's our height. So we can find the change in potential energy is uh, mg change of height. So okay, let's uh, calculate. We have the mass already, right? Five thousand two hundred kilogram SI unit. Uh, 9.81 and then the delta h is 74.8482 so what's our energy uh, okay so the answer is uh 3.82 3.82 uh, exponent, exponent, three, six. Okay, exponent six. Ah, uh, joule. Is that is that answer? Three point eight two exponent six. Yes, three point eight exponent six joule. That's our answer. Okay. Ah, uh, so three point eight exponent six joule. Okay, use trigonometry.